the following brands have in one way or another contributed to this video. Hey everyone, my name is Max, welcome to my channel and in this video we're gonna talk about noise. Yeah, that's the kind of noise I'm talking about, the mechanical noise. The thing is, every guitar has some amount of mechanical noise. And lately the question how to get rid of it kind of became the most frequently asked question in the comments on my channel, so I figured it probably deserves a video. Therefore, welcome to Noise Mechanics! So in this video we'll check 10 different guitars, expose the most common problems and eliminate about 90% of mechanical noise. What about the other 10% you may ask? Well, that's kind of more hardcore, so if this video goes well, if you like it and want to know more, I may consider making the part 2 of this video that will address those 10%. Ok, I'll be using a very straightforward two-step approach to fight noise. Step 1 – find the source of the noise. Step 2 – find a way to eliminate it. As simple as that. My first guitar is a Telecaster and here is once again what the noise sounds like. The first thing you want to check is the headstock, because that's the most common source of noise. Ok, we have the source, now how do we stop strings from vibrating? I have a few of these Tesla stream dampers that I really like, they look like this inside and they go across all the strings, but because unfortunately this guitar has two string trees, the damper only solves a half of the problem because we still have noise here. And I have a very cheap and easy solution for that – Velcro, that I bought for almost nothing at some Chinese store somewhere. I would usually use one piece with hooks and two pieces with loops – that was one, that was two – which I will put together like this simply because it looks better. That's it. Ok, now the hook part goes beneath the strings and the other one comes on top. That's it, problem solved. In fact, very often I would use exactly the same solution here, because I already have plenty of these Velcro dampers ready to go. Nice. It helps a lot, but something is still there, that's why I mentioned 90%. And by the way, I'll give you links to a couple of different gadgets in the description to this video, please check them out. My next guitar is equipped with a tunematic bridge, and here is what the noise sounds like. Let's fix the headstock right away, and by the way, the Tesla damper won't even fit here, because there is not enough space, so I'll use one of my regular Velcro dampers. Sounds good. Much better, but there is one more thing we can do here. Yes, the bridge, which is the second most common source of mechanical noise. And I'll be using the same approach as before, Velcro all the way. Now that is completely dry. Oh, that's even better than I expected. Here's the next guitar and I wanted to point out that the bigger the distance is between two pieces of the bridge, the more noticeable this noise is gonna be. Again, nothing new. I'll use a Velcro damper for the headstock. It doesn't even need to be Velcro, I'm pretty sure many of you have a couple of cable ties lying around with no use. Be creative, use whatever works for you. That will do. Moving on to guitars with tremolos. Here is my Strat and I have already addressed the headstock, but still it could be cleaner than this. Yeah, when it comes to tremolos, springs can produce a lot of noise. Strings, springs 
it sounds almost the same, right? And yeah, they do vibrate. Here is how you can stop that. It isn't the only method, but it works. First, remove one of the springs. Then take a piece of paper and make a tube out of it. Push it into the spring. Make sure it actually touches the spring. Put the spring back and repeat. Now you can see two pieces of paper inside the springs. And that definitely helps. Here's another guitar, which is similar to the previous one in a way, but unlike my Strat, this one has traditional pickups, which are much more sensitive to springs vibration. I'll be using the same approach, but this time, instead of paper, I have a good old Velcro, and I don't even need to remove springs. That was one, that was two, I'll just push it in slightly, here we go, okay, let's take a listen. Okay, here's another guitar with the same Wilkinson tremolo as the Harley Benton Fusion 2 that we've just checked, and this one has a whole bunch of mechanical noise problems. Velcro damper on the headstock. A big one. But this guitar has three springs and I'm curious how much noise I'll be able to eliminate. I'll be using Velcro again. Okay, good. Good. Nice. Good, but I can hear those 10%. Moving on to guitars with the Floyd Rose and similar systems. Here's another Harley Benton Fusion 2 with the Floyd Rose this time and no string trees, so a single string dampener will do. Well, let's check what we have here. Rings like a bell. The good thing is, in terms of muting, Floyd Rose is no different to any Strat tremolo and a good piece of Velcro should do the job. Okay, how about now? Not perfect, but better than before. I have a feeling paper could be performing better in this situation. Next guitar, the noise job has already been done on this one, and here's what it sounds like now. This guitar features a slightly different approach. Again, Velcro is used, but now, instead of having it inside of the springs, it is placed on the sides of the cavity, and the middle spring has a piece of paper inside. This hybrid combination works quite well. Next one, the Max Solo Texas guitar. It features a Graftec LB63 Floyd Rose style tremolo with piezo saddles. The same approach here as on the previous guitar with Velcro on the sides of the cavity, but because the cavity itself is wider on this guitar, I had to use spacers. And I believe these are actually Floyd Rose silent springs. 
I kinda prefer Velcro on the sides, as it is here, and it's proven to be very effective. And the last guitar for today is the Ibanez RG1070 PBZ, which comes with lots of springs thanks to H02 tremolo over the stabilizer. As always, it has been treated with some Velcro and seems to work fine. Alright, I hope this video answered your questions. At the same time, if you know other ways, maybe better ways to get rid of mechanical noise, let me know in the comments below. Wow! You've made it to the end of this video, and I'm very happy about that, because first I can say thanks, and second, not many people make it this far. It would be really great to hear back from you in the comments below, not necessarily about the topic of the video, but just, you know, to say hi, for example. If for some reason you like what I do here on this channel and want to support me, there's Patreon, I'll give you a link to that in the description below, and other than that, subscribe or don't subscribe, whatever you feel like. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video someday soon.